We need to improve the tongue. It's something a lot of us are guilty of. Improve how you speak. Wallahi, your mouth, the same mouth you say your shahada by. Be careful what type of words come out of that mouth, especially to your family members. We will pay a heavy price if we abuse our family members. We will pay a price in the dunya and the akhirah. The Prophet ﷺ says, خيركم, خيركم I'm sure we know that off by heart now. The best of you, best to your wives, best to your children. That's the best. That's the best. So we need to become best from now by, by learning to control our tongues. Watch what we are saying. Say good words. Utter that which is absolutely beautiful. Make someone smile. Imagine, idkhalus sururi fi qalbil mu'min. To 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 put happiness in the heart of a mu'min is a great act of worship. What if it is your own wife? You go home. You tell her something so beautiful, amazing. What if it is your own family members? You make them feel good. Your children, your, your parents, those who are related to you, you make them feel so good. If you are not going to do that, who do you expect to do that? Who? So this is why it's important for us to know if I make someone else happy, it's an act of worship. What if that is a person related to me? May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help us. The same applies. We should stop lying. We should stop deceiving with our mouth. We should stop saying swear words. We should utter the dhikr of Allah. The, the tongue is actually a tool. If we do not occupy it with the remembrance of Allah, it will occupy us with the disobedience of Allah. If you don't wet your tongue and moisten it with the dhikr and the remembrance of Allah and good words, then it will occupy you with bad words, dirty words and so on. So be conscious of your tongue. Conscious. Conscious meaning, do you know there is a hadith where Mu'ad ibn Jabal radiallahu anhu was in the company of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam told him to control his tongue. Amlik lisanak. And he says, O oh Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, O oh Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, will we be penalized because of our tongues? And so the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says, O oh Muhammad, what do you think you're saying? And the people of Jahannam, would they be in Jahannam for any other reason besides how they use their tongues? Will they be dragged face down? That's the hadith actually says, will they be dragged face down in Jahannam for any other purpose besides how they use their tongues? Which means the tongue is absolutely important. It takes you into Jannah or into Jahannam. Into Jannah or out of Jannah. The tongue, be careful. Use it to remember Allah. Praise Allah. When you praise Allah, you get closer to Allah.